My name is Ben, I'm 28 years old and I'm a full-time Webflow developer. I've been doing Webflow full-time for about three months now. Prior to that, I was working as a full stack developer, but I definitely lean more to the design side of things. So it seemed like a good career choice to move into full-time Webflow and really enjoying it so far. In the past, I've tried a lot of different ways to make money online, um, Amazon, um, dropshipping. They've been sort of somewhat successful, but nothing's really jumped out to me as being like, that's what I'm going to do. That's how I'm going to make my money. Um, it's not really been that sort of like real enjoyment. I don't really get much from it other than the, the income uh, that comes from it. But I do really enjoy web design. I really enjoy the process. And I look up to some of the guys that are doing really good freelance work. And I think I want to do that. Um, really great to have an additional income on the side. Um, so that's what this video is about. I want to document my progress going from sort of the very beginning. I have no clients. I have sort of no very limited experience professionally or sort of working as a freelancer. Um, and I want to see how far I can take it. I'm going to set a goal of a annual income of 50,000, 50,000 pounds. That's going to be my initial goal. I may be really overshooting that or I may be underestimating what's possible. I don't know, but that seems like a good goal to aim for. So that's going to be my first goal. In terms of where I'm at at the moment, I have a brand set up. So um, pay for some branding. My sort of freelance name is Vibrant Digital. So I've set up a website. I've done three... Um, free client projects, so just for friends and family. Um, really just so I've got some portfolio items, so when people come to me, there's some substance there. They can see, okay, he's done some previous work before, otherwise they're just going in blind, then I don't think I'm gonna get any work at all. So in terms of sourcing clients, I have no paying clients at the moment. I began trying to cold call companies. Um, so I'm in the Bournemouth area, for example, I searched garages in Bournemouth and then I called them. I've only spoke to about four companies in total at the moment, so it's not been successful at all. One guy I spoke on the phone with and I might include the um, recording of the call in the video. Um, it's a bit embarrassing, but again, it's all part of the process. Yeah. Thanks, anyway. Okay. Is it something you'd be open to discussing over the phone? I'm quite confident that we can get an increase in your sales and. Yeah, I mean, um, not at the moment because I'm fighting the clock. But cold calling has not been very successful at all so far. Another avenue I've looked at is sourcing work through Twitter. So obviously, first and foremost, building up my Twitter presence, kind of like communicating and connecting with people within the Webflow and freelance sort of sphere, but also looking for sort of key search terms. So like need a website, want a website. There are a lot of bots on this, there's a lot of competition. People get that immediately, uh, the bots do. But um, there's one that I found that didn't have I uh, didn't have any responses, so I sent a message out and it's uh, looking somewhat promising so far. So fingers crossed that goes somewhere. That could be my first paying client, so that could be very good. I think though it's just going to be a case of keep putting myself out there, persevering. There's going to be a lot of setbacks, but that is the whole point of this series. So you guys can follow me along from the very beginning of the process to hopefully when I reach my goal and then we can set further goals and see where we can take it.